we are going to spill some tea today and we're going to find out the hidden truth of your person. And uh, this is for all star signs. So if you're here, hello and welcome. We are going to look into the reading, see what's coming through. And if you're here, I think it's a sign in itself. Um, so I said tea, but actually I have coffee in my hands. Okay, well, I just, I'm just speaking in a very, you know, analogy type of way. But um, yeah, we'll have a look and see um, what's going on in this particular situation. I'm just going to take a sip. Okay, so... I've got some cards here. I just wanted to say actually before we begin that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase any personal services, personal readings, intention items, uh, anything like that, it's all listed down below and on shopmoonlightguidance.com. So there's personal uh, services like the tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, healing work and prayers. And there's also the intention manifesting items, which thousands of people have seen results with, you know, bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse, sage bundles, teas, candles, etc. Um, so, you know, the entire, yeah, the entire section of that is also at the bottom of my website. And yeah, it's amazing to see how so many of you have seen the results and how you feel in various areas of your life. Okay. And the, the items are not just for love, let me <laughs> just mention, but there's thousands of items on there for various, various areas. Okay, the hidden truth of your person that they don't tell you. That they, oh, that they are not, <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. That they are not telling you. like a notification on my phone just as I was doing that. That's really interesting. Okay. Oh. 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 It's that emoji where it's just like, oh. You'll see. It's the emoji in the title, okay? That's, that's what I'm trying to describe. I'm going to show you these cards in a second. What I think is absolutely fascinating here is that they have feelings towards you, strong feelings. They just feel scared expressing. Yeah. Number one, they don't want to get rejected, okay, because that's the last thing they can deal with right now. They're in a very, like, emotionally very vulnerable place, which makes them very scared. And for them to then get rejected, oh, it's too much. It's too much for them to bear. It's too much for them to think about. They can't do it. So I think that's really important for me to mention here is that they really like you. They really, 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 really like you. But they're quite in a, you know, they're in one of those places where it's like they want to say this, but they feel scared to. And so they keep it within themselves. And basically what you get is a hot and cold pattern inside them, which is why if you're in contact with this person, they can be hot and cold towards you. Because on one hand, they really like you. They feel that pull towards you and they, they want to, you know, make sure that you know that you're still there somehow. But at the same time, they still don't do enough because they don't want to feed in you um, or make you think that they're ready for something more when they're not, which is why they just kind of pull away a little bit so that you don't get your hopes up too much and, you know, and then feel like, oh, you know, I thought they were going to do something. So that's why the pattern exists. If you don't have contact with this person, the reason why they're doing this is essentially because they're not quite ready. Okay, so we have, I want to see you. Number one. Number two, be patient with me, please. So you have two messages. One goes hot. Another one goes a little bit cooler. See what's happening here? Okay, and then we have the cool energy again, which is, I don't know who I am anymore. And then we go hot again, which is the sense of, I want to apologize. I want to say something. I want to express myself, right? Then we have the hot energy again with, I love you, which is, oh, gosh, hot like the freaking sun um, or a volcano. And then we go cold again, where it says, I fear a relationship with you because I don't want it to be another failed relationship. Okay, hot, cool, cool, hot, hot, cool, hot, cool, cool, hot, cool, hot, you know, okay, that's what's uh, happening here, however, what they feel towards you 
is quite consistent. I think that's the really important thing is that their actions are chaos. Their feelings towards you are quite linear. They're quite um, consistent, clear, concise. So once they feel a little bit more balanced, their actions will also be much more balanced and their actions that they take will not be as confusing because their, their um, heart is very aligned to you. Their mind is a bit chaotic. Once their mind and their heart are on the same page, boom, things get moving, right? Oh, sorry, there's like a bit of fluff just <laughs> flying around. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so we've got I love you and then, yep, the one about fear. Do, 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 do. Thinking of which other cards to pull for the reading. Hmm. I'm going to continue with the same ones. Yeah, we're continuing on the same theme here. So this is the hidden truth of what's happening, okay? The hot, cool, hot, cool, but I still really like you. I still really care about you. I love you. Um, you know, I didn't love myself. So they're basically, what they're telling you here is, I've got issues within myself that I need to figure out, but you're amazing. You're amazing. You're a 10 out of 10. You're a 10 out of 10. I want to apologize to you, right? They know, okay, this is this is um, regret. This is understanding that they haven't treated you very well. This is validation. If you're thinking to yourself, they treated me really badly and they don't even feel bad for it. Oh, they do, but they don't say anything about it. That's that, okay? I don't know who I am anymore. They're confused by their own actions, okay? So imagine if they're confused by their own actions, of course it's gonna confuse you because what they have within themselves is also how they project that back onto you, which again is a really big sign that they've got some childhood traumas and also traumas and fears from past relationships which they have brought into this situation. It's a cycle. And then, yeah, see, another. I don't want it to be another failed relationship. So we're connecting the dots here. They still really like you to the point where they're saying, be patient with me, please, because they know that this is a very special, you're a very special person. And if only they had felt right, they would have naturally progressed things along with you. It's not you, it's them. Okay, and you're a 10 out of 10. You're a 10 out of 10. Comment that down below, that's your affirmation. I'm 10 out of 10. Validate yourself, make yourself feel better. I know that a lot of you are probably sitting there not feeling so great about the situation, perhaps blaming yourself. Um, you know, crying, crying can be very therapeutic, you know, I think that it can really help to detox some of those um, emotions, help with, you know, sort of purging out that, um, you know, frustration, sadness within yourself, but tell yourself, I'm a 10 out of 10, okay, I, I want you to feel good within yourself, because I'm not here to like, you know, make your ego go through the roof, I'm here to give you a bit of a boost, because you're not someone who's extremely egotistical to the point where you treat people badly, you know, you're not that kind of person, so, you know, you're a 10 out of 10, tell yourself that. Okay, I'm going to stop waving my pen around. Um, it's just that I feel like, you know, anytime I get very serious, I'm like, the pen has to come out, okay? And I have to point these things out. <laughs> I'm a Virgo, okay? That's 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 what I do. <laughs> um, okay, so look, I got mad at you for being right, which means, again, they're validating the fact that you haven't done anything wrong. They are very controlled heavily by past fears and troubles from the past, which have kept them to themselves. I'm scared to let down my guard. I don't think I've ever done a reading where I've just used this deck and this this deck alone, but I'm really tempted to do so. So, you know, let's let's go with this deck. Let's make, you know, full kind of use out of these messages because usually I pull them for a few messages here and there, but I feel like doing a full reading with this particular deck. Okay, again, we, we continue with the hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, 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 hot, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, 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 what? Okay, um, you make me feel blessed. Okay, so I'm scared to let down my guard. Fear, right? Fear, fear, chaos, fear, troubles from childhood, healing needs to happen them knowing that you really are the right person, you make them feel blessed. You do know best, which is them validating the fact that, look, hey, it's got nothing to do with you, okay? I got mad at you for being right, and you are right. This is this is some serious hidden truth coming out here. Okay, hopefully this validates you to know that. They are missing you. 
Ooh, they're missing you. Now they're missing you. They are. Don't ever change who you are. Again, this is validation for that. You don't need to change who you are. You're a 10 out of 10. You're a 10 out of, Why would a 10 out of 10 need to change itself to like an 8 out of 10? Please, 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 somebody tell me. Someone tell me. No, no, no. Doesn't happen, right? So, um, yeah, if you've always felt that this situation is your fault, if, you know, if it, no, it's, it's their past. See, something's happened in a past relationship um, that they've dealt with. Now, technically, some of you might say, just some of you, okay, just a very select few of you might say, but Moonlight, this person's never been in a relationship before. Well, a relationship isn't just always romantic, right? They could have had troubles with their um, f mother, father, um, sister, s you know, brother. A relationship, some kind, has, has triggered them to feel this way, okay? So even if, um, say for example, this person's never been in a relationship before, in some kind of relationship, okay, that failed, that makes them very fearful of new relationships. And relationships you know, are not just love-based, they can be non-love-based, ta-da, okay, um, I want, I sometimes want to surprise you at your home, yeah, look at this, chaos, right, they go from, like, one side of the spectrum to the other side, room, side of the spectrum, you know, zero to a hundred, really, really quickly, I hate how much pain I've caused you, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, um, could have told you that right at the beginning, <laughs> with what I mentioned, I feel like some of the messages are sort of repeating now, but that's that's good because it gives you clarity that, you know, what we're seeing really is what what I'm reading. Coming back. Yes, okay, so if you're wondering if this person's going to make a return, they are. Okay. Boom. I really do need you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your reading that is your reading. You're a 10 out of 10, okay? That's your affirmation. Now, of course, if this reading resonated with you, comment it down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, it's really obvious that this person has their own personal struggles which keep them from coming towards you. It's not your fault, regardless of what you may have said or done or how things panned out. That's not your fault from what I'm seeing here. This is actually their kind of own personal problem from the past that has really made them feel this way and they're, they're gonna come, they're going to come, they're gonna come back around. Yeah, so that's what we have in terms of the hidden truth of your person and what they're really not telling you, because trust me, they're really not telling you these things, are they? But yeah, this is your reading. Um, if you found that it resonates, definitely do like this video, subscribe, comment down below, check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I've probably said that like three times now. Hold on a second. TikTok, I was gonna talk about TikTok. TikTok and Instagram, I post short readings on there every single day. So follow me on there if you wish to. The official usernames are down below. Just be aware that there are some Oh, scamming accounts, okay? But so long as you spell my username correctly, you will find me. All right, so I'll see you all very soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. Oh, gosh. Just, did I just break my case? Oh, good. All right, it's okay. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my gosh. Wow, I'm just not doing well at this today.